everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the 16 personalities type test. Um, so we're going to find out what my personality type is. Let's just get right into the video. Okay, so this is the test. It just says to be yourself. Complete it all. Don't leave any neutral answers. Okay, so the first question. You enjoy vibrant social events with lots of people. You often spend time exploring unrealistic yet intriguing ideas. Your travel plans are more likely to look like a rough list of ideas than a detailed itinerary. You often think about what you should have said in a conversation long after it has taken place. If your friend is sad about something, your first instinct is to support them emotionally, not try to solve their problem. Mm. No? No. Um, people can rarely upset you. Yeah, it's hard to upset me. You often rely on other people to be the one to start a conversation and keep it going. No. If you have to temporarily put your plans on hold, you make sure it is in your top priority to get back on track as soon as possible. You rarely worry if you made a good impression on someone you met. Mm, I'm just myself. It would be a challenge for you to spend the whole weekend all by yourself without feeling bored. No, not true. You are more of a detail oriented than a big picture person. You are very affectionate with people you care about. Not really. Um, you are bothered by the mistakes you made a long time ago. Mm, some would agree, actually. Sometimes. At parties and similar events, you can mostly be found further away from the action. No, I'm usually in the crowd. You have to find it difficult to relate to people who let their emotions guide them. Sometimes, actually. When looking for a movie to watch, you can spend ages browsing the palette. No, I usually know what movie I want to watch. You can stay calm under a lot of pressure. Yeah. When you sleep, your dreams tend to be bizarre and fantastic. Yes, I have the strangest dreams. Oh my god. In your opinion, it is sometimes okay to step on others to get ahead in life? No. You are dedicated and focused on your goals, only rarely getting sidetracked. Yeah. If you make a mistake, you tend to start doubting yourself, your ability doesn't. No. When at a social event, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people, and mostly, um, no, sometimes I introduce myself to new people. Um, you would never let yourself cry in front of others. Yeah, I don't like to be emotional for other people. You feel more drawn to places with a bustling and busy atmosphere than to more quiet and intimate ones. I actually kind of like both. You like discussing different views and theories on what the world would look like? No. Uh, when it comes to making life-changing choices, you mostly listen to your heart rather than your head. I like to think that I listen to both. You cannot imagine yourself dedicating your study, your life to study of something that you cannot see, touch, or experience. Um, no? I'm gonna say, like, slightly disagree. Um, you often make decisions on a whim. No. No, not always. It depends. It, it depends. Um, the time you spend by yourself often ends up being more interesting and satisfying than sometimes. You often put special effort into interpreting the real meaning of the me no, of a song or movie. Mm -hmm. You always know exactly what you want. Not always. You rarely think back on the choices you made and wonder what you could have done differently. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes. Um, you tend to focus on present realities rather than future possibilities. Mm, yes. Uh, you often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. Sometimes, yeah. When starting to work on a project, you prefer to make as many decisions up front as possible. Mm, sometimes. It depends on the project. When you know someone thinks highly of you, you also wonder how long it will take. Yeah. You feel uncomfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, no. You look after yourself first and others come second. Yeah, no. Not really. I often put others before me, actually. Uh, even when you have planned a particular daily routine, you usually just end up doing what you... Actually, I'm really good at sticking to a routine. Your mood can change very quickly. Sometimes I can. You often contemplate the reason for human existence and may not know. 
You often talk about your own feelings and emotions now. You rarely dwell on your regrets. That's true. I don't really. Spending time in a dynamic atmosphere with lots of people around quickly makes you feel drained and in need of a getaway. Not really. You see yourself as more of a realist than a visionary. Mm. Gee, I don't know. You find it easy to empathize with a person who has gone through something you never have. Not always, actually. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy. No. No. I have the same energy the whole way through. After a long, exhausting week, a fun party is just what you need. No. I want to go to sleep. Um, you frequently find yourself wondering how technological advancement could change everyday life. No, not really. You always consider how your actions might affect other people before doing something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You still honor the commitments you have made even if you have a change of heart. Yes. You rarely feel insecure. Yeah, I never really feel insecure. Okay, let's see what I got. Executive. E-S-T-J-A. Okay, what the heck does that mean? Okay, so I'm an extrovert. Um, my energy, I guess I'm mostly observant. Um, in nature, I think more than I feel. And in tactics, I guess I judge a bit more than I prospect. Interesting. And identity, 68%. I'm 68% assertive. Really? That's interesting. Okay, so then if you just hit start reading, it basically gives you an introduction and what an executive is and what their weaknesses and strengths are and all that, but I'm not going to read all this to you guys because I don't want to bore you guys. So I guess that's what I am, an ESTJA. Um, I didn't know that I was assertive, so that's interesting. So at the end of the test, it shows you like other people with the same personality types as you. So I had Dwight from The Office and Claire from Modern Family. Um, I also had Violet from Downtown Abbey. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any ideas of what videos I could do next, if you have any video suggestions, leave them down below in the comments and I'll have a look at them. See you guys in another video.